Hey everyone, my name is Anthony Sakari from New York State Solar Farm, and I'm joined by both of my colleagues, Amber and Rick from New York State Solar Farm as well. And yesterday we have our meeting that we have once a week, and we're talking about the reasons to go solar in New York right now. So in this video, we're going to go over the five reasons to go solar in New York. But as we're going through these reasons, um, I was mentioning to Rick and Amber that there, there's probably like 10 reasons to go solar, but we'll stick with five. We might go over. And just to give you a little bit of a background on what we do, uh, we are New York State Solar Farm. We're residential solar installers here in the Hudson Valley. We go basically from Rockland County all the way up to where you live, Amber. What's How, how far up north do we go, would you say? Uh, Washington County, pretty far. And we stretch across the state. We do residential batteries, uh, as well as solar PV, rooftops and ground mounts, as well as small commercial solar projects. So that's a little bit about us, but now we'll jump into the reasons to go solar. And I think the first reason, um, that we have was the NYSERDA loan. So I don't know if you want to kick things off with the NYSERDA loan, Amber. And also we made a video last week about the NYSERDA loan, which I'll, I'll link below as well. Sure. Yeah. The, the link, the video from last week definitely goes into more detail on the loan, but um, it's a 3.49% state funded loan. There's absolutely no hidden fees with that. So it is the lowest cost of finding that financing that you could get just about anywhere now, right now. Um, most, you know, loans, if they have that a rate that low, they're going to have in baked in a bunch of hidden fees. This loan has no fees. Um, it does have a $150 application fee that we cover. Um, but it's a 3.49% loan with five, 10 or 15 year terms. And as far as we're concerned, it's the absolute best way to finance a solar project right now. Absolutely. Was there anything you would add to that, Rick? Uh, yeah, the 3.49 is is uh, available uh, is available for uh, most people. But if you're not eligible for the 3.49, you're not in one of those areas. Right. The highest it could go would be six nine. So it's it's still awesome. a great great loan in today's environment. Awesome. And number two, um, I threw this one in uh, after we talked yesterday, but I believe it's a really big one, and that's net metering. This is a huge one in New York, mostly because in uh, California, they're on NEM3, which means they don't have a really good value for net metering. Hawaii has no net metering. And in New York, we have the benefit of net metering. What is net metering? When you have solar on your home and your solar produces more power than the home is using, that power goes back to the utility company and you're credited for the same rate that you're buying that energy for. So let's just say you're buying a kilowatt hour from Central Hudson or Con Edison for 24 cents a kilowatt hour. When you send that kilowatt hour back to the grid, you're getting the same credit back of 24 cents and that rolls over to the next month. So having net metering is a huge benefit and it's great for overproducing in the summertime and carrying those credits over to the winter time when you need them. Rick, would you add anything to that? Uh, not a, nothing except for the fact that there's no monetary value to the kilowatt hour. It's strictly the unit of electricity that is generated. So it's not, there's no value to the kilowatt hour. It's the actual uh, kilowatt hour generated on your roof and you get a hundred percent credit for those kilowatt hours. That's a good point because a lot of times people ask, can I get a check at the end of the year if I overproduce? And that's just not the way it is. It rolls over into uh, the following month. Correct. All right. The next one that we have is the NYSERDA megawatt block. And right now we're at 0.20 cents on that megawatt block. And Rick, do you want to touch on what the megawatt block is? Yeah, so uh, one of the three incentives that are available in New York State is called the NYSERDA grant. The NYSERDA grant is literally free money that is offered from the state to help you reduce your out-of-pocket to go solar. 
It is uh, funded, as you can see, in different tranches, um, and they have different amounts throughout the year when one tranche is exhausted. Hopefully, we get another one. We just uh, had a refunding of that, uh, that grant. And again, like I said, this is free money that um, is a check written from the state to your installer on your behalf to reduce your out of pocket. Everybody gets something that goes solar. They uh, incentivize the uh, more efficient systems more. And it is a, a great, great incentive uh, to help people pay for a part of their solar when they go in New York State. And I think right now in the upstate region of the megawatt block residential, we're at 20 cents. So roughly on a 10 kW system, would you say that's our average size right now? So yeah, we're talking, that's, that's two grand. That's two, a beautiful thing. Yeah. So $2,000 back um, for that nicer to megawatt, uh, that nicer to grant, which you can go on their website and it's a first come first serve basis. So they just replenished this last year of funding. And after this is gone, I think we're pretty confident in saying this is the last uh, funding round that we'll have from NYSERDA. Okay. So the next one that we have here is the New York State uh, solar tax credit. And I was hoping, Amber, you could touch on this one. You went solar on your home before you moved to where you're at now. And um, Maybe you could share a little bit about this tax credit and how it works for if you purchase and then also if you lease too, you could take advantage of it. Sure. Yep. So New York State is one of the only states in the country that offers a state tax credit. It's a 25 percent state tax credit. It is capped at five thousand dollars. So most customers do get the five thousand dollar tax credit um, if they have the tax appetite to do so. And um, that, like like Anthony was saying, can be applied to a purchase or a lease. I when I went solar on my last home, I I leased the system and I was able to um, cover. I want to say the first few years of payments on my lease with that five thousand dollar tax credit and getting a tax refund back when I did my taxes for the year. Um, do you want me to go into how you know? how the tax credits work in general. That'd be awesome. Yeah. So basically, um, in order to take advantage of the tax credits, you have to have paid in for this New York State one, for example, uh, $5,000. You have to have paid in through your weekly paycheck or otherwise $5,000 in state taxes in order to be eligible to get that money back. Um, if you happen to owe money to the state, it would first go towards what you owe. If you don't owe, then you would just get it back as a refund. And this website that I'm referencing here is dsire.com. And whatever state you're in, you could put in and it'll give you all the incentives listed for that area. I put in New York and you could see here uh, the information that it has on it. Rick, you always go into these tax credits as well. Is there anything you would add to the state tax credit? Yeah, just keep in mind that it is uh, income tax. That is the important thing. Right. Okay. Um, and building off the state tax credit, we have the federal tax credit. And I just threw some quick facts up here on it. But Rick, you go into this so much when consulting with homeowners. If you could touch on this one, that would be great. This is off SIA's website. You don't have to go into any of these things. You can go off your experience, but just to, to add some things to the screen as we're going through it, um, we're at a 30% federal tax credit right now. Yeah, and it will be that way for the next nine years, I believe. And um, the 30% tax credit is the largest of all of the incentives. It is based on federal income tax. And uh, basically it's one 30% of the cost of your solar project will be reimbursed in the form of a tax credit when you do your um, your tax taxes for the year you're installed. Um, it is uh, that is considerable uh, and very very uh, very very uh, what's the word you want to use beneficial for uh, the homeowners and uh, very easy just an additional form when you fill out your uh, taxes and most. Uh, CPAs and tax advisors are well aware 
of how to uh, apply for that tax credit. Awesome. Um, last but not least is the increasing rates from the utility companies that we're facing. Um, I think across the country, the utility rates are increasing. In our area specifically, though, I think we've been steady for quite some time pre-COVID, Amber and Rick. I, I don't know your take on that, but you know, we were steady with rates. They were always increasing, but the rate that we've been seeing over the past five years have been such a dramatic increase. And just to, to share this, this is a utility bill from actually, let me, yeah, a utility bill from 2006. And this is just showing the kilowatt hour charge of energy in 2006 was 0.9 cents a kilowatt hour. That was for delivery and supply of electric. Actually nine cents. Nine cents, I'm sorry. Nine cents a kilowatt hour. And right now, we're I think we're at nine cents either for delivery and supply uh, for, you know- That's about 22 cents, I believe, is the number we see right now for Central Hudson. Yeah, and this is just to show, that was 2009. And then this is a bill from 2016 that's at 14 cents a kilowatt hour. And right now, what did you just say we're at in Central Hudson, Rick? 22 cents. 22 cents. So this just shows how utility rates are increasing and increasing more than ever. I think we said that, did they get approved that 16% increase? It's pending right now. Pending right now. So it's only going up right now. Um, current rates are 22 plus cents, 24 cents a kilowatt hour. So this is just showing how those rates are increasing. These are actual utility bills uh, that we're sharing here. So I just thought it'd be helpful to show those. And those are our reasons to go solar in New York right now. I'm not sure if we did five or more, but if you want more information on going solar for your home, uh, you can visit us at buysolarlocal.com. Thanks so much. Thank you.